Hey guys, Renan Lopez here and on this episode we learn Pixie.js to build games with JavaScript. We set up an application with Node.js to serve our static files. We just need to keep in mind Pixie is not a game engine like Phaser, it's a renderer. With Pixie we can create uh, things like spin off wheels, check the pointer down and do some animations, filters, like this blur and stuff like that. On this video we will code using the best JavaScript practices to build our first game and put our player on the middle of the screen. If you follow my channel please subscribe and give a like so stay tuned. The official website from Pixie and you cannot just download it and we load the GitHub page. So we go to releases and we have the latest version 489, but basically this was a fix. Uh, the latest version is actually 520, but they have a fix from the version 488 to 489. So I will download um, the actually 520 here. Click here and then you can, can save link as and download uh, the file for you. To expose our static files, we use Node.js. So basically we will set up a um, Node.js server and expose the static file um, that's the initial setup I will open here the initial code so what we have is basically um, server file who we have um, serve static and here we define serve static the directory name and static so basically this static is the folder who have all our files and here we have a folder called assets and we have library. The library is a file from Pixie and declares a variable called Pixie exposing the function. And you have this small image sprite. Our goal in this video is basically set up the environment and render this player in the middle of the screen. On index.html, I created a tag called canvas. We get this canvas by the ID to show and draw on the screen. Here I get the assets and library pixiemin.js and I do our init. And this init is the one we work so let's get started I open on the side here the localhost 5000 for now you can't be reached because the the game engine is not working so I use npm start here to start the game engine so here we see um, game server engine online so we can actually load it now we don't have nothing in our canvas right now but we start working on the init first I would like to create a function called main we do that to keep it simple so this file will be executed and this function will be triggered to start we need to actually load our canvas to do that I will create a constant HTML DOM and here I will get the document I will get for it ID so I use um, get element by ID and I will say game why that because on the index HTML we are calling our D game that's why I need to get our ID by name so now we have the DOM here and we need to actually create um, our game class and we need to send this DOM to it for now I just create a const call game and I will um, call new game and I will pass the HTML DOM. Now let's start uh, creating our game class. So I'll create a class here called game. Uh, we create a constructor and this constructor will receive our HTML DOM. We call a function called start and I will send over the HTML DOM. Now let's create this um, function start and here I will use this dot app and I will create a new PC. Dot application. This pixie.application receives an object as a parameter with the configuration. So I will pass first the view and I will pass um, our element receiving here, send on the parameter. And here I have the width of the screen and I will do the same with the height. And this background color are uh, white. Let's add an app here on our property just to make sure uh, we know we have a property called app inside of game. And let's now create a class called player. Inside of class player, we have a function called create player. This create player basically will receive the position x and position y. This will be actually the x and y position of the player. So to set this, first we need to create our player. So I will call here the pixie.sprite dot from and here inside of the from function we pass a parameter with the asset so basically we import from assets and sprites and player first we need to set the anchor and I will pass here half of the image right 0.5 the anchor is on the top left side so when you set the anchor you're actually positioning on the middle so when we pass the X and Y we center on the middle of the screen and here we will say player dot X and I would say that position x and the same we do with player dot y position y so now I return the player so return player let's just see how we can use this class so first we're gonna um, call a const a player and we say new player 
here we first need to pass the X and Y for the player. To do that, we need to create a cons called a position center position X. In this center position X, we get the game dot app dot render dot width divided by two because I want the center. So I get the width of the canvas draw on the screen, and then I divided it by two. The same I would do with the position Y. So center position Y. Not hate, and I would say divided by two because I want on the middle of the screen. Now I need to create the player, so let's const hero, and I will say player dot uh, create player, and I will pass center position x and center position y. So now we need to add this player at the screen. Let's create a function here: add on stage. And this function will receive something to add on the state object. And here we will call this dot app dot stage dot add child. And here I will pass this object. We could do that on the main function, but to keep them separated, I prefer to add on the class game everything related to stage. Down here we just need to pass game dot add on stage. And here I pass the hero. Okay, now our player is on the middle of the screen. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and give your like. So see you next time.